Uh, so this this coming week then we have celebrate recovery on Wednesday night, Thursday. We have our prayer time and Bible study and lunch and uh, some tentative dates. If any of you can make it for Fishers of Men would be Saturday the 9th, the 23rd, or the 3rd. If that's good for anybody and if the times are flexible, let me know. Um, if it's not, uh, you let me know what is good for you and we'll work something out. Because I got out on Friday for a little bit and in an hour and 20 minutes I had a pass in the boat and two of them were really good size. So. Yeah. <laughs> My, my grandsons made me take them to the same spot yesterday. <laughs> but you know, it's like them throwing bricks in the water. You know? <laughs> They're not quite much crampy air. <laughs> They're air raid shelters. <laughs> but they, they had fun. Nobody got a hook in them. I was good. <laughs> All right. And then uh, but next Sunday we'll do the annual meeting. And then June 10th, Sunday after that, Patty Doll, live at Green. For any of you others to come, we're going to have a cookout. It's going to be a lot of fun. Patty's always got something good. And uh, June 17th, Sunday, is Father's Day, and we'll have a breakfast. And uh, so on a cookout, I guess Cindy talked to you about the cookout. Um, okay. Yeah. All right, for now. Okay. <laughs> Cindy, I heard her volunteer earlier. <laughs> We'll do the meet, you guys, you know, it'll all work out. All right, with that, uh, I'd like to do call worship. And so if John Clark would do the call worship, we're going to do the Lord's Prayer, Psalm 23. And then we're going to have a little section here for uh, the veterans we still have alive with us and, and for those that have, have passed on. Lord our God, King of the Universe. Call the worship.
I don't know uh, how far back this goes, but when I was in school, including starting right with elementary school, we were constantly memorizing poems. And uh, I thought it was a good, good exercise. And one of, the, one of the poems that we memorized from as far back as I can remember is Flanders Field. And uh, it is, uh, was originally written for the World, uh, world War I vets. Um, am I remembering that right, John? Or is it World War I? World War I. Yeah. World War I. Okay. Written by a Canadian doctor. That's it. Thank you. All right. John is going to uh, share I, that with I, us. I have a hard time memorizing poems or anything else for that matter. But for some strange reason, I can remember the lyrics to songs. So when they asked me at the American Legion to uh, recite Flanders Fields at a uh, ceremony, I don't know, you know, I wonder if anybody's ever set that to music. And I could not find anywhere where it was set to music. Okay, I'll write a song for it. <laughs> and so I did. I, it's, it's nothing famous. But, uh, but it's a gift of the spirit. Yeah. Now, uh, the seeds of the poppy, Poppy is used not just for decoration, but it also provides opium as an anesthetic. And in war, there's a lot of pain going around. And uh, so they used it, what they could find. The seeds of the poppy are lie dormant under the ground for years until the ground is plowed up or disturbed. And then they pop up. In World War I, there's so many high explosive shells coming in. The fields around in, of France, especially around the Flanders, were just constantly churned up. This and just throwing that dirt all over the place, get turned over and over. And a few days after the battle, there's all these poppies popping up all over the place. So, and even in the cemeteries, after they buried the dead, such as they could find, uh, the poppies would grow, and it became associated with the war dead ever since then. And so this uh, Canadian doctor, well, he was mourning the loss of a good friend who had been killed uh, a few days before. I uh, wrote this two things down in the back of my head. Well, he didn't like it. Brought back to me memory, so he threw it away. And some corporal who was delivering the mail happened to go by and see the stuff. I guess he was picking through the trash or something. And I uh, found it. He thought it was pretty good. So he sent it to a friend back in England. The friend sent it to the newspaper. The newspaper liked it and they published it and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Flanders Fields. As a matter of fact, there's a big cemetery that's still there. And they, they still lie there. Mm -hmm. the road right there.
like to have uh, the veterans uh, come forward and would like to do the American and, uh, and Christian flag salutes. And uh, Leo and Rodney, if you can help. Daniel usually is running towards those, but he's not there today. <laughs> They're going to be a gap gunshot. Yeah. No, no salute. We need to bring the American flag up. The yeah. uh, oh, 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 right. okay, good. 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 flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And if you would bring the other flag over here, and just stand right next to the lobby. Everybody can see the words of the flag. All right, here we go. I pledge allegiance to the British flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one brotherhood uniting all mankind in service and in love. Alright. And uh, now we have, uh, we're going to just sing them. It's an American Songs medley. I, God America is beautiful, my country tis of me, and, and God bless America. So, uh, if you say, how many of you remember pledging the flag every day in school? Yeah. <laughs> every day, yeah. Uh, such a terrible Good thing. old day. Right. Yeah. Uh, take patriotism out of the school, take God out of the school. Oh, yes, yeah. a lot of schools still do. <laughs> I know, I lost some you. Some All right. Pastor? Over here. Over here. Ah, oh, sorry. We were posting on Facebook this morning. Somebody says, God, why are you allowing all of these shootings in the school? A little message underneath. This is God. I'm not allowed in school. Yeah. <laughs> the bottom line, though, when people ask me stuff like that, is why God, why did God let all these terrible things happen? It's Satan's world yet. Satan does evil, God does good, mm -hmm. and we have to choose between. And so when terrible things happen, unless it's, unless it's some kind of, of punishment uh, or uh, some kind of uh, teaching, uh, it's Satan that does those things. Uh, and uh, we'll see, and I'll, as I read, read today, we're going to be looking at John 15, among others, and we're going we're gonna to see that. that uh, it, this is all Christ. I mean, Christ's death and resurrection fits in with with today, and uh, it's just it's just the world is just getting blinded. Just like after a while, Jesus had said that, that you know the Israelites' eyes. Their hearts were hardened, their eyes were closed, they could not see or understand. And now, as we're seeing Israel start to open their eyes and start to open their hearts, in America there are a number of people that are starting to close their eyes and close their hearts and harden them. All right, let's sing.